Both our boxes have arrived, so now it's time to do November's Battle of the Unboxing. Stick around if you want to watch. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine. I'm a beauty and reselling enthusiast, so those are the things that I like to talk about on this channel. If that's something that you like to watch, consider subscribing before you go. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and I need your help to do so. So if you do decide to uh, subscribe, if you want to say describe, if you wanted to subscribe, make sure you introdu introduce yourself down below. I'd love to meet you. Um, and if you're new to my channel, this is a monthly series that I do battle of the unboxing. So I take my Ipsy box and my lure box. We unbox them together to see what goodies we got. And then I put them head to head to see which one won. Um, they're both subscription boxes that I get monthly. I think I just said that. Uh, they range in different prices and we will talk all about it when we unbox them. All right, I usually always start with Allure Beauty Box. This one comes in about $21 per month. I do pay the annual subscription, so it brings the cost down just a little bit, uh, but you can go month by month if you choose to do so. I think it's a like a few dollars more if you decide to do that. And with Allure Beauty Box, basically you get I think it's at least $100 value. Usually it's a lot more. Um, you're guaranteed three full-size products and then the rest are deluxe trial sizes. Usually you get five, six items total. Sometimes they throw in a little freebie in there for you and they have just started, I want to say it was about last year, they started doing some choice options. Um, it's definitely not as like expansive as Ipsy is for choices, but you do get a choice of Say for instance, they choose a lipstick. So everybody gets the lipstick, but you get to choose the shade of the lipstick. That's pretty much the extent of the choices. Um, but let's just dive on in to see what I got. So this is how it comes packaged. We do have our little pamphlet that I like to read from, gives all of the retail prices, gives a description of each of the product, which I really do appreciate. So the first product that we got was actually a choice product so it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer triangular brow pencil I got mine in the shade medium brown and the choices were medium brown dark brown soft brown or taupe um, and it says why you'll love it is a lot of our editors have made room in their very crowded makeup bags to give this brow pencil a permanent spot and when you try it you'll quickly see why the formula makes browns brows look naturally thicker and the included spoolie makes blending a breeze you got to pick your shade to receive in your box this actually retails for $26 for two milliliters which is the full size product um so yeah I, when it comes to brow products, I've kind of figured out the brow products that I love, and it is the Kosas Air Brow, Air Wow, Air Brow, one, it's the Kosas one, um, and that one I really do enjoy, and I don't really use anything else, so I don't know if I'm going to get much use out of this, so products like this that I don't end up using, I actually send to a company called You For Me, I always link their video down below, it is a beauty reselling site um, that resells gently used like skincare, fragrances and stuff like that, but they also sell new makeup products, so this would be considered a new makeup product, and I could just send it in with a box of other products, they list it for me, They once they sell it, I get a you know, a portion of the profits. So I think it's like, if it's a new product, you get 40%. So say for instance, they sell this for $20. Then what do I get? Uh, why did I pick $20? Let's do 10 for easier math. They send this for $10. I would get $4 back. So it's a nice way to unload some products that I know I'm not going to use, which that's kind of a, uh, one of the things about subscri subscription boxes is that sometimes you're not going to use the products, but at least I have a place that I can sell them and recoup some money. So that's probably where this is going to go. The next product is the, let's see, ooh, a Kylie Jenner. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick. Uh, it's either in close, on brand, a moment or another day, another nude. So you got a few different options this one we did not get to choose um but this is the a moment 346 a moment matte okay it says this velvety liquid lipstick goes on easily wears comfortably and gives lips full coverage color that's matte opaque and intense it's not too goopy so it's easy to control and apply with the precision this retails for 21 dollars. so let's just see what the shade looks like 
So that is what it looks like. Kind of like a dusty rose almost. To be fair, I am not a matte lip girly, so this definitely is not going to be for me, but I can't, well, like I said, I will send it in to you for me. It'll get resold and I'll recoup some money back on this box. So I don't know. Do you like, or, or, or I, I can tell that matte lipsticks are coming back. I don't know if I personally love that, uh, but it's just, it's the trend in makeup. But you let me know down below. Are you team matte, glossy, satin? You let me know. The next product is from, I think it's pronounced Obaji. Um, this is their Ken Kenton and Hydrating Cream. I do not know how to pronounce that. Um, it says, you may have not heard of the Kenton yet, but it's a plant growth factor that can help moisturize and improve skin tone. Here it is paired with another all-star brightener, ascorbic acid, the pure form of vitamin C beloved by dermatologists for its ability to make skin smoother and more radiant. Alongside, alongside soothing lactobacillus, ferment and aloe, and hydrating soybean and pantheonol, this blend is an antidote to dry and cold weather, leaving complexion softer and glowing. So that sounds lovely. Um, so this retails for $62 for 50 milliliters. So this is a full size... Uh, I'm excuse me, sixty-two dollars for. Did I say fifty milliliters? Yeah, I think so. Um, so this is a full-size product. That sounds really, really nice. Um, it is all taped up, so I'm not going to open it up. But that actually sounds super duper nice, and probably be something that I will keep for myself because I am noticing that my skin is getting a little bit more dry with the colder weather. So typically, my skin is. Um, combo oily but I have noticed it starting to dry down so I think something like that would be really helpful. The next product is actually something I've been wanting to test out so it's super awesome that we were able to get it in a box so I can test it out um, but this is the Fenty fragrance uh, Fenty Eau de Perfume travel spray so I think Fenty only has one fragrance if I'm not mistaken um, so this is their one and only in a travel spray. It says the kind of fragrance you'll want to cozy up in all winter, this blend of warm musk and rose. Ugh, rose. I'm not a fan of rose. <laughs> okay, a touch of warm musk and rose, or excuse me, a blend of warm musk and rose with a touch of wintry tangerine feels as comfy and seems as expensive, expensive as a perfect cashmere sweater. So this retails for $140 for 75 milliliters. Um, so I will do all the math down below because this is... 10 milliliters so i'll do the math i'll have it next to the affiliated link so if you choose to shop through any of them i do earn a small commission and i thank you so much if you do choose to shop through them um, but i will have the actual prices of the deluxe trial sizes the full size everything down below so you know exactly what you're getting for the price of the box but let's open this up and test it out like I said, I'm a little bit nervous with a rose. I'm not a huge fan of rose. Uh, so we'll see. Let me give it a little spritz. Dry it down a little bit. Hmm. Okay. You're still getting the rosy scent for sure but I can smell that tangerine and a little bit of musk as well. So this is on the fence. This might be something I keep, might be something I send off. We don't know yet, but I'm glad that I was able to kind of give it a try and see if it's something that I like and, you know, not having to worry about spending $140 to uh, test it out. The next product is from Herborian. This is their Skin Therapy Multi-Perfecting Night Oil Serum. It says this brings together the best parts of an oil like instant hydration and a serum which has tons of active ingredients like soothing centella acidica and antioxidant green tea in one formula that when applied at night makes skin feel smoother and bouncier come morning. So this is $59 for 30 milliliters. This is a deluxe trial size so um, it's about... $20 for this little deluxe trial size. So let's take a look at what the actual product looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's one of the little, little droppers. I'm not a huge fan of the droppers. I just feel like it's, I don't know, not the best sort of packaging in my opinion, but we will have to, we'll have to check this out. 17 super ingredients. Oh my gosh. 17. That's a lot. All right. 
So that is something that I probably will try out. Put it in my probably pile. And why I say probably is because I know I'm gearing up for my uh, skincare declutter, which I think will probably be my first declutter. I try to go in the order of how I use my products. Um, so it just has me thinking of <laughs> how many products do I actually want to keep. Um, and if you're curious to know about my declutter series, I'll link my compilation video up in the corner for you. It's six hours of full decluttering my whole collection of makeup from last year. And I am gearing up to do that again this year. So stay tuned for this year's declutter. Um, but I'll link the other one to uh, satiate that declutter itch you may be having. Um, so <laughs> the next product is this M Miche or Michi Set Gel to Foam Styling Mousse. Um, it says this formula, the formula in this little black bottle makes an excellent argument for adding mousse to your daily routine. It spreads easily and gives hair tons of body, no blowout required. Um, it's $23 for 7.5 ounces and we have two ounces in the box. I am not a mousse type of fan and why? Because I don't ever blow dry my own hair. Um, cause I feel like mousse, you kind of need to blow dry your hair, right? For it to kind of activate. Um, I'm definitely, I just let my hair air dry, so I don't really do anything about it, but I might have to read some reviews on this to see if I feel like other people think it's worth it before I actually use it. But you let me know, do you use mousse in your hair? I just, I don't know. My hair is usually the last thing that I care about um, as evidenced by <laughs> tons of buns in my videos because I don't want to have to deal with it. But who knows, this might be something that changes my mind. And the very last product, just double checking, yeah, very last product is from Eva NYC. This is her Lift Off Volumizing Hair Mask Deluxe sat uh, Sachet or main magic 10 in one shine mask deluxe um so obviously they had a few different choices so this one was the main magic one powered by argan oil and neem oil reduces or adds two times shine reduces frizz and strengthens again i'm not big hair girly especially masks anything you have to do extra besides just washing your hair seems a little bit <laughs> out of my out of my zone so I doubt that I'll be using this but I'm gonna see if my husband wants it too because he likes uh he likes things like this so we'll see um but let's do a quick recap of everything that we got in Allure all right let's jump into Ipsy so this month is a special month because it falls on one of their icon boxes. So typically um, I do the Ipsy or BoxyCharm base box, which with the annual subscription, it does come out to about $29 per box. Um, but the difference between this and Allure Beauty Box is that this one you were guaranteed, I think it's five, five or six, I can never remember, five or six full-size products, um, opposed to the Allure, which is three full-size products and then deluxe trial sizes. Um, and then you also get the option of choosing some of your, um, items as well. So about half of the items are chosen for you. And then the other half you get to choose from a few different choices. Um, so that's kind of nice where you get to customize it. Then there is an add-on option, um, every quarter. So, uh, you would pay an additional fee to get the icon box which gives you uh i think it's eight to nine full-size products but you do have to spend more on it um and they're usually curated by i don't know somebody famous and so they have some of the power picks that they choose for you and then you have more options to choose for yourself and then you also get to add on options at the end for an additional fee so we have fallen on one of the icon box months which is always fun because uh, you just get more items so let's just jump on in and i should say that icon box i believe is about $60 so you would pay the difference from the base box to the icon box um if you choose to upgrade but you can also get a base box and an icon box um you would just have to pay both those fees so anywho so we have the icon box that is curated by lisa vanderplump not gonna lie i think isn't she like a real housewives something something or other never got into that show don't unsubscribe <laughs> i just never got into the show um 
yeah so I don't really know who she is uh except other than I think she was on that show and when I went to Vegas not too long ago in October uh my mom and I we walked over to the Paris because I'd never seen it before and I think she had just opened up a restaurant there too that's as far as I know um but this is the little um magazine thing that you you get with it that kind of explains some of the products yada 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 all right let's jump in let's dive into each of the products the first one is we got um first one is a tart tartlet juicy palette uh so it looks like it does have a bunch of kind of pink rosy neutral matte shades and shimmers take a look at this i don't know if i've ever that's not true i've had a tart palette a long time ago when it was like all the shimmers or something it was like in a circular palette and those were pretty popular for a while but i don't think i've had a tart palette in quite some time but let's take a look at what this looks like and decide if i need to keep it or not all right looks like we had a little bit of a busted shade very barely okay this is a pretty shade or it's a pretty palette but not something for me i don't I don't think I need these kind of like pinky shades. I don't really lean towards those pinky shades anymore. Um, so I am going to save that for you for me as well. I think somebody on there will absolutely love it and hopefully snag it up quickly. Um, but just not for me. Unfortunately, I the magazine is a little bit difficult to go through because at least the lure one kind of goes in order um, and is pretty succinct the magazine's too big for me to flip through so um all the prices will be down below but i bet you anything this retail is probably like the 44 dollar range if i had to guess um but it'll be listed down below next product is from keys soul care so this is alicia keys brand and i think it's in um conjunction like i think elf owns it or something like that um, but this one is the Truly Becoming Multi-Benefit Peptide Serum with Marine Bamboo and Hyaluronic Acid. Okay. Let's see. This clinically proven multifunctional serum works to rejuvenate skin. Just a few drops provide immediate hydration, plump the look of skin, and visibly improve fine lines and wrinkles both instantly and over time. The lightweight, power-packed formula also targets dryness and dullness while helping improve overall tone and texture again that sounds wonderful so maybe that's something that we need to keep our next product is from origins this is their ginseng spf 30 daily moisturizer okay we love a good spf moisturizer moment it doesn't look like it gives us any more information other than it is a moisturizer with spf in it um this is a really decent uh, I say decent size, but like kind of like a travel size SPF moisturizer. That'd be kind of nice for traveling. All right, we'll, we'll keep that around. We'll see how that goes. Then we have the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in Juicy Watermelon. So I have used, the I've used multiple Lawless um, uh, lip products in the past. I don't know if I've ever used their overnight lip plumping mask. I do think I have one in my backups that I need to use that I purchased a while ago. Um, but this one is in the juicy watermelon. And although I like lawless lip products, I don't necessarily like watermelon flavor. Um, so I probably will pass this along unless my husband wants it. He likes uh, watermelon flavor. So I'll ask him if he likes it. But so this is more just a preference when it comes to scent and flavors. Um, love Lawless lip products, but don't love this flavor, so I don't think that's going to work out for me. Here's a product I've also been wanting to try. This is from Glow Recipe. This is their Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner, so it's to brighten even skin tone. Um, this says effectively brightens, smooths, and even skin tone with this lightweight essence toner. This concentrated treatment is packed with powerful antioxidants, radiance enhancing vitamin C, and amino acids to improve dryness instantly and over time. These clinically effective ingredients work together to prep and fortify skin to maximize the benefits of the rest of your skincare routine. So we have cloudberry concentrate, which is packed with vitamin C and E. This antioxidant rich fruit fermented this toner for enhanced absorption into the skin, brightens while providing deep hydration. We have CoQ10, also known as 
coenzyme Q10. This powerful antioxidant strengthens skin while helping to boost the effectiveness of other skincare ingredients. Fermented rice water helps to soothe and brighten for soft, even skin tone. And then oat and collagen amino acids, the building blocks of peptides and proteins, which help support skin's collagen to maintain hydration and keeping skin soft and supple. I feel like I just read like a science book <laughs> reading, reading all that. So this was on my, ooh, on my maybe list for a really long time from Sephora. And I just never ended up getting it because I didn't want to pay full price for it. But you know what? It came in the box. I want to say this is something that was picked for us. And I can't remember exactly what I picked for myself at this point. Um, because we pick them in a month in advance and I just cannot, I don't have the brain power to remember that. Um, but so this is, I'm very glad that we got this in the box because this is something that I've been wanting to try out. I just didn't want to pay a full price for it. And I, I love their, their bottles. I think they're so much fun. Um, if you haven't seen my recent Sephora haul, um, I can link that for you. And I got another glow recipe product in there. And I also talk about how much I love, uh, their packaging. It's just so cute. So that's definitely something I will keep. The next product is from Elemis. This is their Skin Buff Deep Cleansing Exfoliator. For all skin types, it exfoliates, refines, and smooths. So this deep cleansing exfoliator refines dull looking skin for smoother looking skin. Helps to uh, enrich the skin, leaving a radiant and fresh complexion. So I have really liked Elemis products in the past. And they're kind of expensive too. Um, but I do have to be really careful with exfoliators because I have um, uh, dermatitis on my face. So it's a disruption of the skin barrier. And I've noticed it gets irritated when I do some exfoliants. So I don't know if I'm actually going to keep this because I'm sure I have other exfoliants, um, softer exfoliants in my um, backups already. So I don't know if I necessarily need to keep this one. So this one might be going off to you for me as well. What do we have here? We have Amika. I know by the mo the bottle um, already. So this is Amika Hydro Rush Intense Moisturizer Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I love Amika's packaging. It's so cool. It says dry hair. Never heard of it. Packed with hyaluronic acid and biofermented coconut water. This creamy leave-in conditioner deeply moisturizes, detangles, reduces frizz, and improves manageability. Use it by spraying uh, throughout clean, damp hair, pre-styling, or spray it on dry hair to tame flyaways and reduce frizz. Okay. Um, kind of what I've said with hair stuff, I am super duper low maintenance with hair things. Um, and I don't, well, I do use leave-in conditioners, so maybe I'd keep this. I just currently have a conditioner that I'm using in the shower already, so I don't want to double condition it because I have, um, I don't know, my, my hair just seems to get really weighed down with conditioner. So I have to be, I have to use it kind of sparingly. So I don't want to like double condition my hair, but this is something I'm, I might keep around. I might keep around. So we'll, we'll put it in the maybe pile. We have a lot of things in the maybe pile. And then the last one is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Okay. I don't ever in black never heard of this before. Um, I'm not going to open it up just because, um, I'm already working on a mascara and I don't like to open up multiple mascaras at a time. Uh, but I will flash a picture on the screen of what the wand looks like. And because the wand shape is really super important to me as I have very hooded eyes. So I need something that's going to be thin, um, like a really thin wand. Uh, my preferred mascara is one that volumizes, um, so volume is definitely number one and then lengthening is number two. Obviously, I don't want anything that like flakes or smudges or anything like that. So that uh, wand shape will be the biggest, biggest factor. So hopefully it's something that I like. If not, you know where it's going. So let's do a quick recap of everything that we got in our Ipsy Icon box. Now let's battle them out. And here is where we battle them out. So what I do is I will quite literally put them head to head. I take a look at everything that we got. 
um, and just decide based off of my excitement factor, um, retail values versus the cost of the box, how much of the stuff I'm actually going to be keeping compared to how much I'm going to be um, sending to you for me. So a lot of different really subjective factors that go into the battle. So kind of reviewing Allure Beauty Box. So we definitely got some stuff that was uh, a definite no. So like the, the um, Anastasia Brow Styler, the Kylie Matte Lipstick, those are definite no's. And then we do have like a few maybes in there with a few keeps. Now, when we jump over into Ipsy, um, kind of the same thing. There was definitely some things that I know I'm going to be getting rid of, uh, like the eyeshadow palette and um, the probably the Elemis exfoliator. And then there's definitely stuff I'm going to be keeping as well. And then some on the maybe box. So those seem to be kind of quite literally even. Um, when it comes to the excitement though, I think... I think there is one that kind of I felt a little bit more excited about. Hopefully I translated that a little bit more um, on the video as well. And then as far as the retail value, I'm going to, before even doing all the numbers, I'm just going to guess that Ipsy had a bigger retail value just because this is the icon box. So it just comes with more products. Um, so... The winner to me is going to be the Ipsy Icon box. Um, I just think that the products that I got, I feel like I had more excitement about them and I think I had more maybes than absolute no's. Uh, so that's going to be the winner for me for this month. But you definitely let me know down below which one you thought was the winner. Did you like Allure's products or did you like Ipsy's products better? I always love to hear from you. So that's it for me today. I truly, truly appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. It really does help, uh, help out this channel. Again, all of my links will be, uh, affiliated down below. So if you want to shop through them, that's, that would be super great of you. Um, any creator that you love who has affiliate links, this is a wonderful time for you to support them this time of year, support their channel. Um, show them that you appreciate uh, appreciate their time and their content. Um, but with that, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.